I mean, Rush fans do like other musicians. So in one of my one of my in one of my video in one of my videos recently, I mentioned in passing that I might do some a list of other musicians that I like from other bands, maybe top five guitarists. And a commenter mentioned, yeah, yeah, do that. I would like to see that. Us Rush fans appreciate great music. And I'm Dominican, so I was exposed when I was growing up, not just to rock music, but also music from my culture, you know, merengue, bachata, you know, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of music I like that's not just rock, although Rush is the best. In any case, Rush wasn't the first band I liked. Now, I decided to, yeah, I'm going to come up with the top five, in this case, guitarists. My top five favorite guitarists of all time. And I'm going to go way back to I was a wee little lad. And, you know, when I remember any type of music influencing me at all. Maybe on another video I'll do maybe a top five or top ten drummers. But for guitarists, then some more of a drummer than a stringed instrument guy. I'm going to give you my top five favorite guitarists of all time. From a Rush fan's perspective. Okay, so my number five. Favorite guitarist of all time is Neil Schoen of Journey. You may be surprised by that. You know, he's not a progressive rock guitarist, but they, they don't have to be, you know, be any any guitarist. Um, anyway, Neil Schoen. First concert I ever saw uh, as a kid was Journey in 1982 for the Frontiers tour. And actually, Brian Adams opened up for him. That's how new he was. And maybe that's how old I am. <laughs> When albums like Escape came out and Frontiers, I think those two albums were Journeys. That, that's when they were at the top of their game. And Neil Schoen just has this a feel for the for melody. I mean, just the the songs that came out during the, the that time, the early '80s, late '70s, early '80s for Journey, just absolutely great, great, great songs. And Neil's guitar solos are absolutely sizzling. And I think he's he is an under another underrated guitarist. I mean, when he was a really young person in his teens, I think he was a guitarist in Carlos Santana's band back in the day, way back. So he's pretty good. And he's the founder of Journey. He's been in the band the whole time. My favorite song from Journey is Mother Father, which is on the Escape album from 1981, the same year Motion, uh, Moving Pictures came out. That whole album is, is great. That song, you know, there's acoustic guitar in it, lead guitar playing. Every musician... Every artist in that song is going all out on that song. My favorite Journey song of all time, Mother, Father, check it out. That's just one little example of why Neil Schoen is one of my favorite guitarists of all time. He's, he's, he's penchant for melody, writing great, great songs, great lead guitarist. He's, he's a great shredder, and he really has it all. And his songs and the journey of the band Journey speaks for itself. So at my number five, Neil Schoen. Number four, my fourth favorite guitarist of all time is Ace Fraley of Kiss. <laughs> I laugh, I gotta tell you, because uh, when I was a, a little kid in the 70s, so I'm a child of the 70s, and we were four boys in my family. Uh, each one of us was a member of the band, and even though Peter Chris played the drums, my favorite instrument, I was not the drummer. I was not Peter Chris. I was another member of the band. I'm not going to say who because it's kind of silly. <laughs> but, I mean, Ace Frehley. I mean, what a colorful guitar player. I think to me, he was Kiss. He was made Kiss. As far as the music goes, I think Gene Simmons, to me, had the most influence as a whole on the band. And, like, Paul Stanley would be 1B. But Ace Frehley, as far as the music goes, I think whenever he was in the band, the melodies were just great. And his guitar solos, iconically Ace Frehley. You hear a guitar solo, and you know if you're in the rock scene, and you know all these bands, you hear a solo, and you know it's Ace Frehley when, when it's him playing. I mean, Kiss in the 70s was pretty much unstoppable. Not the studio album so much. They had really catchy songs. I don't want to say great songs because the, the topics of their songs left a lot to be desired. Like Dave Grohl said in Rush's induction ceremony. Love gun in ladies room. By the way, I'll give an example of some, this great, one of Ace Frehley's greatest songs in the 70s. It's called Making Love. And I think it was on the Rock and Roll Over album, I think. Uh, I'll confirm that in the screen over here. That song live on Kiss Alive 2. Man, 
Uh, Ace Frehley is a smoking. I mean, he's, this is great. This is a great riff. It's a great riff. If you just forget the words, which are kind of silly, but just the music itself, the riffing and the guitar solo, the drumming, everything is spectacular on this song. So I'm going to make that my example of one of the reasons why Ace Frehley is such a great guitarist. I mean, there are a lot of great examples in the 70s. 70s Ace Frehley. You know, even though that was a long time ago, to me, he cemented himself in my mind as one of my favorite guitarists of all time. So Ace Frehley at number four. My third favorite guitarist of all time is Eddie Van Halen. Uh, Eddie Van Halen at number three. I mean, what could one and two be? But anyway, this is a favorites list. This isn't a best of because there's no best. I mean, there's a lot of these great guitarists at the top that have their specialty, their way of playing, and they're just all great up there. So you just got to pick and choose which ones you like. And my on my number three is, is uh, Eddie Van Halen. This is, um, like, loved them in the 80s. That's when I, I think that's when I heard of them. And then I went back and heard their stuff in the 70s when, their first, you know, Van Halen 1 came out. And up to 1984, who can debate Eddie Van Halen being anybody's favorite guitarist or in their top five? I mean, he's always going to be up there. He's just, he literally is objectively one of the best guitar players of all time. Of all time. So it's very easy to put him on uh, a favorites list. And it's really difficult to pick a favorite song or a favorite anything of him because he was just pretty pretty good or excellent on practically every song he played on. That's just a fact. Uh, I think he maybe even, you know, maybe in my eyes, I don't know if it's really true. Maybe he's a little underrated as a rhythm guitarist. That's what I'm talking about. An excellent rhythm guitarist. Great lead guitarist of course what can we say there's nothing to say about Eddie Van Halen he's just one of the best of all time and that video circulating around where it's the guitar solo in New Haven Connecticut where there's a lot of reviewers watching them they're all mesmerized by his skills I think that video can like is a testament to how great Eddie Van Halen the late Eddie Van Halen was so yes he's my number three greatest guitarist my favorite one of my favorites number two my second favorite uh, guitarist of all time is Steve Howe of Yes. Man, <laughs> uh, I discovered Yes sometime after I discovered Rush. A few years later, I discovered Rush in the early 80s. So discovered Yes. Yeah, about that time, a little bit soon after. A friend of mine just was dying for me to like them. I wouldn't give them the time of day. Then I saw Rush in their Hold Your Fire tour on December 2nd of 87. And I saw Yes a week later for the first time. And Steve Howe was not the guitarist. It was Trevor Rabin, who he's, one, he's a really good guitarist as well. But it opened my eyes to Yes. He's just a well-rounded, all-around guitarist. Now, lead guitar playing, even though he did it, that was not his forte. I didn't really, I wasn't crazy about his lead guitar playing. But just the texture and the way he fills in the guitar space with all sorts of different guitars, so melodic. And the fact that they can do all of these sidelong songs, um, you know, like Closer to the Edge and then Tales from Topographic Oceans and then Awaken, just masterful. All of these other songs, if you listen to the, the way he played, and the solo records that he did, the acoustic things that he did, he played also with Asia and all this other stuff. There's just no one like him. A virtuoso. He's a virtuoso guitarist. Absolutely elite guitarist. And one of my favorite things that he did on the record, Relayer is the, is the record, 1975, I think it was, but just the creativity that not only him, but every member of the band, you know, to come up with songs like that, the imagination that they had uh, to do that was just stunning. Uh, on side B of Relayer, there's a song called To Be Over, a wonderfully, a wonderfully beautiful song worth, worth listening to. It's just like a song, it's very dreamy, it's like you're floating along in the river, just Taking it all in, really easy going. Guitar wise, very melodic. In later years, he plays that song on Steve Howe does. He plays that song on the acoustic guitar just by himself. It's just mesmerizing. I mean, no one plays like that. I wouldn't even categorize him as a rock guitarist. He's just I would just call him he's just a guitarist. Because he he really does it all. It's very you know, the electric guitar, the acoustic guitar, and pretty much anybody in rock knows the work that he's done. Just absolutely captivating. So I'm going to have to give Steve Howe as my second favorite guitarist of all time. And who's my number one favorite guitarist of all time? Well, if you want to know, just like this video, subscribe to this channel, All About Rush, and just watch the video that's at the end of this one.